I think the way I understood it, you guys wanted to hear Hudson's story before we did anything else. So well, I'll just do that real quick. Um, this family that wants Hudson is a very awesome family. It's a, I think it's a mom, dad, and two sons. Two sons are really, really good kids. And the dad came yesterday, the mom, no, the dad came today, the mom came yesterday, and the boys came both days. They want Hudson. Hudson is still reserved for them. But in talking to the dad t today, um, I realized that they, they have a few fleas, not very many, but enough that uh, I'm not going to send Hudson there until we get the fleas under control. And they're quite willing to get this under control. Um, I don't want you to... I don't want you to worry. I mean, I let me let me do the worry. <laughs> I know you guys do too. But um, yes, you might have heard her the mama say about the story about the cat that they did have did was hit by their car. They had at that time been letting them out in the garage, and when she backed up, she hit the kitty. And they are so remorseful, so very 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 sad that that happened, um, and didn't realize the dangers and the harm that that could be. This kitty that they adopt has and will not be out in the garage. Um, the boys know it, the dad knows it, the mom knows it. They never ever want that to happen again. So we we learn and you know I, I never want to be critical because they are wonderful people. It's just you know we all have to realize the dangers of what can happen. So they learned it the hard way unfortunately. Um, the fleas, you know I, I don't like fleas, I hate fleas. <laughs> we didn't like these. But um, they're they're working on it, adamantly going to take care of that. They already got the cat stars, the front line. They went from here to go out to get the spray to do the house. They're going to do the um, soft things, you know, the, the rugs and the quilts or afghans and covers, things like that. They're going to pop in the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes on hot heat. So um, they're, they're going to take care of that. So I told the boys that we'll hold... Hudson form and I sent home a flea comb also so that they can double check and double check the doggy and uh, make sure. So it's not like it's a huge big in, in um, infestation, but even one flea is too many for me. So, but they're willing to work on it. It's not like they said, well, we're not going to do it and walk out and don't want the cat. So um, I have real confidence that that's going to work out. So um, I think so too. Who said that? Let me see that. Allie, I think that's too. These these, these kids are going to be awesome for this, for Hudson. Let me get our cutter here. We got three boxes. And the reason that I'm home early tonight is because we didn't get to go to the movies after all. So next week we will. So we've got one from Amazon, one from Wade.com. And then one from uh, Webcammer, uh, Joanne. Let me check here, though. I might have a note on this one. No, nope, I don't think I do. Here comes the doggy. So this one is an Amazon one, and it came from the Kentucky store. The Kentucky Amazon. Um, Jim and I and Fozzie's been up there on the orange cabinet in front of the TV screen watching the cam for quite a while. Oh, yay, we got food. No. Oh, yes, and we have a tag, but I don't have a name on the tag. Isn't that funny? Some of them are like this long, and this one is just an itty-bitty little piece. Um, this is Frisky's uh, Savory Shreds Chicken and Salmon. I forgot to ask if um, Carolina Ash is on. Does anybody know if she's on? Carolina, Carolina Ash. I don't, she might not be on. She might think that we're at the movies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nuki, you'll take notes and email them to me then. That would be cool. Okay. All right. So this is an anonymous until we find out, and maybe somebody will um just tell tell us on the chat line who this is from. But it's uh it's the 2040 and it's the Friskies. Uh, oh, chicken. 
chicken and salmon and gravy, the shreds. Mm -hmm. That sounds even yummy to me. Although Steve and I did stop and get supper. So maybe we can find out who who sent that. Do we know who sent that? Yeah, thanks, thanks food person. And then we have another interesting one. This one is from WAG.com from Kansas City. M.O. is M.O. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Missouri. I have a cheat sheet up there, Kathy. That's the one wall. There's, there's so many of them that was confusing. What do you think this is? I don't know either. But we got a, we got a thing. That's what we like. Uh-oh. We have another anonymous one. Do we know who wave.com is from? Um, Nuki, if, if somebody says on there, maybe you could jot that down. And they sent... They, oh, this is that chicken, no, ch chicken noodle soup. <coughs> this is that chicken soup for the cat lovers. And this is the adult. This is good. This is good uh, canned food. It's uh, chicken... Where's the ingredients? Oh boy, my eyes need checked. I, oh, that's what were they using tonight? Did you use some of this tonight? It's fresh um, chicken, salmon, turkey, duck, and vegetables. This is nice stuff. This should be part of their Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> Thank you. I hope hopefully we'll find out who. Um, Martha, mm -hmm. it says uh, Ellie is saying waves hello to Martha from Nova Scotia. Oh, we'll have to have a couple of these for our Thanksgiving. They looked almost good enough for us to eat. <laughs> you want to whisk that one up? So we have two anonymous. Each of them are a uh, case of food. One frisky and one chicken noodle. This one is our, from our webcam friend um, Joanne. And Joanne is from Arizona. I think I ought to go out and see Kate and then stop over and see Joanne. You got a helper? Did you find yourself? I, it was close, wasn't it? It was, it was a little close. <laughs> was a little close. <laughs> that one made me jump a little. Yeah. I usually... Oh, fiddle faddle. Here it goes. There we go. This is from Joanne. Joanne W. Is Joanne on? They say you're good with the I'm kind of wicked, I think. Oh. I wonder if I'm supposed to open this one. Yeah, I never know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I forgot the hook on it. You could probably just hang it. Hook it like maybe, I don't know. Oh, so it's going to fall off one of those. Maybe like, yeah. I have no idea. Uh, Brie, did you want to hold that up close and show them? This is so cute. It's an itty bitty bed. Isn't that cute? It's, it's a Weasley bed. Yay. Oh, we should put a dinner for Weasley tonight. Yeah, wouldn't we, yeah we'll put that in um, Cat's Let's Corner room right. for Weasley tonight. Oh, and Mom, look, look at this. Out. We have done something like this last week, and these these are really okay. nice. Can you take it, Mom? It says um, from Foster oh, Smith. Oh, there she is! I forgot she was sitting there. It's a self it's a self warming cozy cradle cover, and uh, it's a thermal core reflect body heat. Fits cat furniture and this one. Fits cat furniture and window perches. Perfect for collecting hair in your favorite. Yeah, but mm -hmm. this looks like the one that we got last week. Very yeah. Where is that one? These are nice. These are really nice. You know, um, we should put this like on one of those um, uh, big oak tree branches where Twinkle always oh, really yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try that for Twinkle? Oh. Oh, this. oh, you know, we had one of these a long time ago, and the cats love this. I haven't seen one of these for a long time. Look at this. It's called a 
Roland Pop. I'll show it to you. It's called a Roland Pop. It's a peekaboo cat ball Roland Pop. Um, bird tweety sounds and popping mice for hours of playtime. So when it rolls, the mice pop out. How do they do that? And it it tweets. Now how does that do that? That is so cute. Isn't that cute? I'll put this down tonight. Thanks, Joanne. This is pretty cool. I think sometimes we need, we don't have these fun toys. Yeah, we don't get any. We need fun little kitty toys. But the paper's even cute. <laughs> yeah, it is. The, the cool colors. And what? Oh, <laughs> Joanne, you're not supposed to send me more kitties to take care of. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the pillow pet. Oh my gosh, these kitties are gonna love this. Oh, it is. Yeah. Look, you can make it. Oh, it is, isn't it, Josie? Look at this. It's a huge one. Oh yeah, my gosh. I got a. A little bee and a unicorn. Really? We'll put this on the floor tonight. Oh, see yeah. how soft that is. That is really Mommy, cool. Mommy, feel it. That is really cute. Yeah, the pillow mm -hmm. pillow pet. Wow, Joanne, thank you. We'll put this out for tonight along with the toy, and we'll put um, this in. With Wheezy. Yeah, with Wheezy the, in the cat's corner room, and I think Martha already put the. Thermal wall. Oh, I put it up there for there. Yeah, and she lays on those. Well, I put her up there. She Twinkie. Say. Twinkie. That's not her name. It's Twinkle. Twinkle lays on those. Thank you. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're going to take it up to your room, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come with it. You can choose that still. <laughs> Look at this. And, oh my gosh, there's still even more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Here, here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this Josh. is very embarrassing. Look at that. This is my favorite candy. And the yarn. And the yarn. We have all kinds of things, and they're all color coordinated. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Joanne. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the Reese's. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> We could, the kitties would probably like to play with this tonight. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. And then, is Joanne on? Oh, hi, Carolina Ash. You made it. Yeah, I kind of, we changed our plan. I wasn't sure if I'm supposed to open this up on the cam. Um... But I think I will. It says it's got my name on it, so sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to open things or not, but I think that this will be okay. And if not, we'll push it back down. Oh, paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Here, let's do this one first. What is that one saying? Converses with cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can you read that? My Indian name is Converses with cat. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, my Indian name is Converses with cat. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, sure, the kitties are like, oh, jammy. Right. Oh, my gosh, you know what? My daughter, my kids were over this weekend, and we were, look Karen, and I was looking at a magazine, and it had this in here, and I said, I need to get that. <laughs> look at that. It said, oops, I adopted another cat. That is too cool. 
Hey, look, there's Asha. <laughs> Which one's this? <laughs> That's Patty. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thank you, Joanne. I don't know if you're on tonight, but I love that, too. That's very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, well, we've got just a few questions, and um, then I'm going to go in because they're going to sweep you up tonight. That's pretty cool. Is Joe on? Yeah, Joe. Hey, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, Joanne, thank you. Look at the side of the box. Look at the side of the box? The big box? It came out of the big box. Look at the side of the box. I have no idea. Already a cat in this box. Already a cat in there. Oh, no, no, that one. I think we're talking about that one. This one? I don't know. Well, whenever they say that, it always remembers. It reminds me of that time that I almost missed some coupons on one. Maybe maybe they said inside the box. Is it yeah, the kitty's in there. Or oh, maybe that's... Um, Stephen, Stephen, is it? Yeah. It's a mailing label. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, ask how Remo is, and Remo's doing awesome. Uh, we gave him a vaccination today, and no, they talk he's it. just they doing great. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. J Joe says there's nothing else. No, there's nothing. Else. Uh, yeah. So now, when you got, when I have to come out here in my jammies, you might see that cool new <laughs> nice shirt. Thank you, thanks, Joe. I love, I love both of those, and the Reese's Pieces um, pillow too. Uh, Tuki's family maybe visit on Friday if that was okay. Sure, it's okay, but call me first. Call if you can, um, because I do have to go out and check on my mom and dad. But uh, Friday, Friday. Uh, you know, there should be a volunteer here all day long on hot, or on on Friday. So even if you come, and I would be out at that time to check on my mom and dad, it should be fine. So yeah, you you're welcome. Uh, uh, Marsha Hugh asked about Asha, where she is. Uh, here where Asha um, is. What, we'll send Martha on that hunt. Well, sure. Uh, and Tweet asked if we were open on Thursday on Thanksgiving. Probably not. Uh, we are actually going to do a different kind of a day for Steve and me here. I don't know if my kids are coming maybe for breakfast, but our big Thanksgiving thing is going to be on Sunday because um, my one daughter, Dawn, is going to be off on Sunday. So we're going to have our big meal here on Sunday. So, But um, Steve and I might go away a little bit on Thursday. And Ellie asked about any projects uh, that might need done that we haven't had time to do. There's always projects here, Allie. If you come, we'll put you to work. <laughs> if anybody wants to come, we'll put you to work. She always puts me to work. Later, wildfire. <laughs> <laughs> she always puts me to work. Yeah, yeah, we always put Martha to work. I don't see Asha. Okay, no. we'll try to find her, though. We'll try to find um, Asha, yeah, Marcia. But, Ellie, yeah, if you or anybody ever wants to come, we're always willing to. We always have projects that we'd love to have done. Um, Meg asked if. Uh, we've seen Patty, Patty, P, Patty P, no, Patty, um, Kate P inappropriately since, um, Tugger's been gone, and I haven't, and you guys are, were actually the ones that was seeing her, seeing him do that at night, so maybe let me know tomorrow if you've seen him, but I don't think so, and the steps have been dry, so I don't know if there was a conflict between those two or not, but, um, all seems to be well. And Lou Beth asked about a preferred cat food. If you're talking about dry food, we always, always ask that if the first ingredient is a meat, usually it's a chicken in in can in uh, the cat food. Uh, Yukonuba has it. Some of the Imes, some of the Science Diet, uh, Maxim Maxim Prina One. But I, uh, you guys might have heard me talk to a lot of the adoptions when we do these that we don't like it when it's uh, chicken byproducts or corn and 
some of those things that really not in our cat's diet, normal diet. So we show we we cut out labels and we show that to everybody. I think I'm hearing somebody crying. We go we go over all of these and there are the all the uh, diff lots of different kinds that. of the dry food mm -hmm. and um, we go over the pros and cons of them. No, you have to stay in there. That's what you're hearing. <laughs> um, so we always encourage them to get a food that where the first ingredient is a chicken. And I tell everybody too, if you look at the cat that's been here a while, not only is their fur nice and silky and soft, but their skin is good also. They're not flaky. And then on the canned food, we're not nearly so picky on the canned food because most of the canned food, the, the main thing in it is water and it's got good protein. That's why we, our vets encourage us to use the canned food also and especially on boy cats. You probably heard this feel on that. Their little urethras are quite a bit smaller than the boys, or than the girls. So by giving the canned food, it keeps everything flush, particularly the little crystals that they can develop. And here, we have never had a male that is plugged up. And as you know, if you've ever had a plug boy, yeah, the crystals, um, that's a life and death matter. If they can't pee, they are gonna die. So we've never had that problem here. Um, in hope number two. Uh, Bu Bubba asked how Twinkle is, and Twinkle's awesome. I know most of the cats are right in here, but Twinkle's always over on the other side most of the time. Every once in a while, she'll come over here and sit. Oh, Brenda's, Brenda's going to get her and show you Twinkle. But she's, yeah, Twinkle's awesome. She's eating good. She's she's just is wonderful. And, you know, as long as she stays in that area where all those cat trees are, she knows where everything is, and she doesn't have any trouble with her sight. But I noticed that when she's in a different area, um, she may, you know, do her pat, pat, pat thing so that she knows where she's at. Jackie, but we made you a liar. Oh, there she is. There she is. She's out there getting a drink. Yeah, she was getting a drink. And she's got her pink collar on that has the... The twinkle stars on it. We always tell her twinkles are stars. There she is. Oh, I heard you. Did she twinkle, Deb? Well, where am I? Oh. <laughs> up here. There you go. Now, yeah, we okay. look at the screen, but you got to go up. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got used to this. <laughs> she is beautiful, isn't she? We love her. Close up there. That's better. No, no, we got the no, we got the paper bag toy that vibrates, and Paul put a, a battery in it too. Thanks, Brenda. <laughs> Thanks, Twinkle. And Asha is way up high, sleeping in the back of the big of the red box, and we are not going to be able to get her out of there because this, the opening is kind of small, so I don't want to pull on her. But maybe tomorrow night we can do that. Um, I missed a question. Um, oh, I know what it was. Britt asked about a cat story rescue. Uh, I don't think I've done this one before. As soon as, as soon as I read that, I thought Femi, and Femi is a cat name that we had here years ago. And I always like to say good, happy things for everybody, but it was a rescue, and her. Her things that happened to her beforehand was pretty sad. Um, I'm just, I, I'll tell you, but some of you may not like hearing some of this. Um, she had been living in an upstairs apartment, second floor, and belonged to a, a horrible man, I think. And he tried to drown her. It was. He there was a girlfriend, and it was her cat. And it was a domestic violence situation, and she was using it. The cat as to a get way. back to, to the yeah. girl. So, yeah, he was a bad guy all the way around. But he did, he tried to drown her, <coughs> and um, apparently she scratched them and got away. And he had um, the, and he acknowledged that he did this. He had the 
Steel Point told Ruth and, and, he, and he kicked her uh, several times and he then stabbed her, twi uh, I think it was three times on a rib cage and she still was not dead so he tossed her out the window. And the reason that we know these things are two reasons. One is that the people that live below, one of them happened to be a volunteer here. She happened to be looking out the window and saw the cat fly down past her. And um, so she ran out and her husband helped her and um, they ended up calling the police and he acknowledged some of this. So he, he's one of the very few people of the abuse situations that we've had here with cats that has actually gotten um, a fine or reprimand. Most of them get away. Most of them get away with it scot-free and it irritates the heck out of me. We know some really sad things that have happened and they just, they're, they're, they just don't enforce it. But he did. He, he got some, some reprimand for what he did. Um, but her name was Femi and she came here and I have never seen a cat shake and quake as much as what she did. I think she was, um, we put her in the top pen, top condo, and she was there for, I think it was two days before she came out from underneath the blankies. We covered her up and she just stayed there and you could visibly see the blankies um, shake. And uh, I think it was like two and a half days later she started eating and eventually it took a while. It took a, seems like it was a couple weeks for her to actually come out of her pen. She was always kind of shy and aloof. Um, her wounds all healed. Um, this was all documented by the sheriff. And uh, she eventually was adopted into a family and they were okay with her being a quieter cat. I mean, she went through an awful lot, but she was adopted, and they had gotten back with me a couple times after the adoption, and she was happy in her home situation. So, she used to sleep back then. Is that the one that Femi yeah. would leave? Yeah, yeah. Femi would go a lot of times back here in the Kitty Campus Room, and when Kathy, that's here, her daughter, um, at, um, Unique, that you all have seen here. Uh, Unique would go back there and sit there and read to her <laughs> page after page after page. She did that how many times? And okay, and Femi would just lay there with her and stay stay there with her. It was always so sweet. So um, I think it's just a tribute to cats. You know, they're so resilient and so ready to love again and forgive. I don't know how many of these cats have forgiven the human race for things that have been done to them, but they do. I don't know if we humans could be as forgiving as what some of these cats have been. Pretty well, never Femi. Femi? Have you heard, heard from not them? Not lately. lately, not lately. But yeah, that was a sad situation. So, um, but it turned out good. And she was a beautiful cat. Mm -hmm. She was a real pretty girl. So that's it, all that I have. And I, if there's no real pressing uh, questions, I think I'm done. New kitties? Oh, where's the new one? Where's the new you one? guys were. Uh, I haven't tested them yet. Oh no. No, but where's? Have they seen the little kitty? Oh, you, know? you guys, you guys are pretty tricky. Um, have they seen that? Oh yes, they have. But, but she's my baby. She's my baby. Um, I find her. yeah, you guys got good ears. Is what it comes down to. Some lady came right before I was ready to leave, and um, she had four cats. She got them spayed or neutered. There's three boys, one girl, and they, but they didn't test them. So we, I'm not going to test them tonight. I'm going to test them in the morning. They're about three and a half months old. Um, calico, yeah, that's that. A calico. Gosh, what's that? There's a, a calico, two one, beige ones. And no, two beige ones in it. Well, a gold one and then a gold one with white paws. What is the fourth one? Sort of a tiger, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. It's a tiger. Yeah, tiger white. Not yet. Tell her down because the noise will be loud. Tell them I'm, um, I'm there's. I'm, she's going home under my shirt tonight. Martha's got that. <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. So these four, these four new kitties, they haven't been named. They, they I warmed them, gave them a cat star. They haven't been bathed. So, <laughs> you guys, I try to keep it quiet back there so you guys don't know what's going on until I test them, but. Uh, that's okay. Um, 
They look pretty good. They look healthy. This lady's taking awesome care of them. And she even got them vaccinated. I just hope and pray that they are negative. So we'll do that in the morning. Who's here tomorrow morning? Oh, Lisa's here in the morning. She might be able to hold for me. So um, they're cute. And uh, we're going to still put Hudson and the I five babies in the room for the night time. Well, and she spayed, She got the mommy cat spayed. And she's keeping the mommy cat. Good question. Spay, spay, spay. I say that like 50 million times a day. <laughs> yeah, you guys got good ears. <laughs> I love it, though. I love that. So, well, I'm afraid to leave Hudson run because you know what um, Tasco will do. I don't see him. We'll find him. Tasco mm -hmm. loves, and I mean loves, Hudson. Remo was peeing around here. Remo was? With one of the black ones. Does he need to stay in there, too? He needs to stay okay. in, yeah. Uh -huh. No, we're going to we're gonna wait until the, cause the ladies have to clean up, so we're going to pick up everything. So, um, night, everybody, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, okay. No, she's just me, her grumpy. Check it. You've got a present. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty cool. And there's a present in here, too. Yeah, we got presents all over with the cute box. All right, Jack. Oh, yes, I love that. Did you know that was in the newspaper? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just thought just now, I didn't get to read it, but, like, I got a million and one phone call. Oh, really? And everyone at Scotty's was asking. Oh, and uh, called me. I haven't heard from her. And I haven't heard her. And she called you me. Your mommy's talking. And um, was saying, you know, she had no idea that this